Luke Bryan has seen quite a bit of success in his music career since signing with Capitol Records about five years ago. He's earned a reputation as a great songwriter and performer. Typically, Luke writes most of his own material, but every now and then he hears a song that he has to have. Good thing he found Drunk on You, written by Rodney Clawson, Josh Keir, and Chris Tompkins, which Luke took all the way to number one. Kelly Lynn caught up with them at a party to celebrate that song's success. We're here celebrating a number one today for Mr. Luke Bryan, and we've caught up with Rodney Clawson. Congratulations. Thank you. This is awesome. So I was just talking. You have had like a top 20 on the charts now for like all year. This yeah. has been a big year for you. I mean, does it get any better than this? <laughs> well, you know, these are, the, these are the kind of years, I guess, as a songwriter you dream of having. And it's been a long time for me, you know, coming. I mean, I've been in town 10 years, and and finally having on a little bit of a run now so it feels good Girl, you, make my speakers go boom, boom. you are a hit songwriter we have got to talk about that so the day you got in the room with these guys who came in with the idea who came in with that melody were you on your keyboards or yeah i was playing keyboard they were playing guitar and um the it's funny that the song like we um and i had forgotten about this but rodney reminded me the other day that we wrote the verse and the chorus and we didn't actually have a like an idea like a title and um and like we just wrote everything and the title just came out you know it's and that's what's weird the title's not really like a big title you know <laughs> you on you it. how in summertime and um no but we just kind of like just you know wrote into it and um but you know we all had different ideas it was totally like a three-way co-write where everybody you know had you know everybody brought their own unique little flavor to the song and um it was you know it's good combination with these two guys Every little kiss is a driving me wild. I'm with Josh Keir and he is no stranger to hits. I mean, you've had Grammys and all kinds of success and today here for Luke Bryan. Talk yeah. to us, I mean, how, how was it when you got together with Rodney? Had you guys all written a lot together? Because I know you and Chris have written together before. Yeah, sure. Um, Chris and Rodney and I had written a handful of songs um, and this was just one of those magical days where everything just kind of came together and felt like everything was working. and. Um, I don't know if you knew that it was going to be a big, huge hit, but at the same time, we knew we had we were onto something. So, yeah, we we had a lot of fun writing it. I bet you did. Now, how did uh, Luke hear about it? I, that's a good question. In all honesty, I I don't know the answer to that. I know that they. Uh, he was the first, as far as I know, he was the first artist that heard the song. So it went straight to him and never came back. And that's the way you want it to work out. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's perfect. Absolutely. So, Josh, you have had, I mean, Grammy nominations and won so many awards and had hits after hits. What is, what do you think is the most exciting or most memorable moment to date for you? Because I know number one parties and awards. Gosh, I don't know. I mean, we won the overall song of the year for Need You Now with, with Charles and Hillary and Dave, or I did. Um, be hard to hard to rival that um, and yet at the same time I don't know there's still nothing better than like that moment when you first finish a song you really love and you're sitting there playing it for the first time and um, that's what always keeps you going it's not an award or it's not a party or that kind of stuff it's like still falling in love with the writing process Girl, you make my speakers go boom boom dancing on the tailgate in the full moon that kind of thing makes a man go Guys, uh, truly, thank you guys for just a uh, career-changing, life-altering uh, song that I'll thankfully have the privilege and pleasure of to sing the rest of my life and watch um, thousands of fans hop up out of their seats and light up and just become a part of the moment when... Um, I never will forget the first time, you know, you, I heard Drunk on You and you, uh, you hear the boom boom thing and you're like, what the hell is that? And then you're like, well, is it right? Or what? I don't even know what to think about it. And then you start living with it and, and then it just starts. And then you realize, you know, millions and millions of fans are going to start calling radio stations going to play that boom boom song. And, and uh, that's, that's what historically the big songs have. They have that line that the fans can, can uh, gravitate to. Hey, I'm a little drunk on you and high on summertime. I can just tell you on the road the whole town of Nashville, we're honestly having the time of our lives. It is, it is truly amazing. 
It's time for another quick little break, so make sure you don't go away. There's plenty more Inside Music Row right after this.